today's video, I'm going to give you a quick tip that is going to change the way that you lab some of your routes in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And first and foremost, I want to let you know that my channel is devoted to helping you get better at this game, right? Uh, there's a lot that Madden has to offer. There's a lot of detail and in-depth things that if you're just picking up the game for the first time playing, or maybe you've played for a long time, you may not know. And so my channel is just devoted to helping you. Again, I don't know everything, but I love to learn, and I have learned so much about this game in the past uh, couple months. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a really cool little um, tip that I think will apply to pretty much every formation in the game that you utilize. So if you are interested in getting better at Madden, I want to encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We post four times every single day here on our YouTube channel. And then we also sh live stream on YouTube every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. All right, guys, so we're in the West Coast book. It doesn't just apply for West Coast, um, but it can uh, apply for other ones. The, play, the route that I want to talk about is deep corner. And again, this can apply from other routes, other formations. It doesn't really, it's not exclusive to West Coast. But I do want to talk about deep corner. And this is primarily a, a tip for when you are like first and 10 um, is when it's most effective. Uh, but I want to talk about this really quick, and some I I know some other p players have talked about this, but I haven't talked about it with my community yet, so I just did want to I did want to talk about this. So first and foremost, if you notice, this corner route on the right side is different than the corner route from Z spot. See Z spot, it's a little bit more of an angled corner route, whereas the corner route from deep corner is kind of a little bit more of a wiggly corner route, right? They're different, they act different, they run different, and they have different capabilities. So when you're labbing, um, it's really, really important to understand the nuances of that. But the tip today really is very simple. And what I want you to do whenever you go into practice mode and you're labbing a new formation, I want you to smart route every single route and just see what happens. You see here when I smart route Devontae Adams, he goes 10 yards. You see here when I smart route Vada Scantling, he goes 10 yards. You see that I'm not allowed to smart route my tight end, and I'm not allowed to smart route my running back. But watch what happens whenever I smart route uh, my slot receiver. You see that he is only going to go 5 yards. This might remind you um, of essentially, effectively, a slant out route. right? This is a route that is going to fade to the outside. Um, very, very quickly against defenses. And so what it allows you to do with it is it kind of does reminisce a little bit about a, of a slant out route. Now, what I personally like to do with this is motion this over, and you see how long this now looks kind of like a crossing route, honestly. Uh, and you'll see he's just going to kind of drag across, and you see you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage very, very easily. And this is actually going to go for a lot of yards, yards against man-to-man -man. Uh, defense in this year's game so just a really really good in my opinion tip and what I love about deep corner and these specific corner routes that are only going like five yards it gives them more time to slope towards the outside and so against a lot of zones it doesn't beat every zone as you saw right there Nickerson was able to get me um, but it does beat a lot of zone coverages it does kind of act a little bit differently and what you'll notice if I go to the play deep attack you'll see right here same kind of thing you see that post route is only going um, about five yards and then it's slanting in kind of gives them a little bit long, larger of a slope toward that goal post and those longer angles will allow more openings for your offense so you know I just wanted to share this with you and I want you to get creative with it Again, there's a lot of ways that this tip can apply, and it does not just apply to the gun bunch. It applies to almost every formation in Madden 21. Um, there's a ton of formations out of West Coast that it applies to. There's a ton of formations out of the Arizona playbook that I wrote a book on that you can get in the description that this applies to. I mean, this is a really, really universal tip. It applies to every single offense uh, in this year's game. And so I just would encourage you, if you haven't already tested out this from multiple formations, just try smart running your routes and see what it does to them. See what it does to your offense. I guarantee you it will change a little bit about what you're doing. It will change a little bit about how those routes work. And, you know, it just kind of changes um, what animations you get, what separation you get, which is really, really important. So there's a lot of things that I just would encourage you to try with this. But if you have not already, guys, I do want to ask you, uh, for those of you that want to get better at Madden and you appreciate these videos, I have started a membership at my channel. It's a texting membership, and basically it's very simple. Every Monday what I do is I sit down and I send out a personal text message from my personal cell phone 
to you guys with an exclusive tip every single week. This last week released over 40 minutes of a basically a mini scheme or mini guide on the Minnesota Vikings playbook. And so um, if you want to sign up for that, literally all you have to do is shoot me a text message. That's literally it. Just shoot me a text message and just let me know that you would like to be a part of the texting membership. And I can get you signed up for that and we'll get you squared away right away. My number is 812 812- 216-3644. You can also find my number in the description of every single video that I produce, um, so you can check that as well. But if you guys haven't also, I would encourage you to join the Discord. Discord is a great place where you can kind of talk Madden with other Madden players 24-7, if you want to get more than just my perspective on an issue, um, there's a lot of really, really good players in our Discord. And so I would just encourage you, if you haven't joined it, to go ahead and do that as well. Thank you guys so much for your time today. We will be live streaming at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time uh, tonight, uh, sharing some different tips and tricks and strategies that we've been working on uh, in Madden 21. So thanks for your time, guys, and we will see you in the live stream.